what's going on guys it's your boy raymx3 back at it again with another video this time i'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite favorite class to play in cold of war uh it's a fun fun class it's all geared around spycraft and engineer so we're gonna just gonna go ahead jump right into it this is actually what i play on all of my classes now this is what i play on everything because i find it so fun and i also find it extremely effective I do want to note that I do mostly play Nuketown 24-7, so that does dictate my gun, but this will work really with any class loadout. So the first thing I want to point out here is the gun. It doesn't really matter what you use. Um, just play however you normally would with whatever gun. As long as it's geared towards your map, like I said, I play Nuketown 24-7, so I really like the PPSH. It's a great gun for a very close range. It's very fast, hits hard, great. But what does matter is your secondary right here. So what I like to actually use is the machete. I just unlocked the shovel, so I was just playing around with it. But I really do like the, the, the machete here. I find that to be great to get out of sticky situations or to just slice through a bunch of people. Um, other options you may use for your secondary that I find that work really well with this class. Um, shotguns. Sweet Streeper would be the number one. I just haven't gone through the grind to get it. Um, but I do, I believe it's the Gallo. I use otherwise 12 round mag as fast as you can shoot and just lay into them if you get into a sticky situation you get out of it all right that's that's the easy quick stuff we'll get into this later what you need to use is the wild card uh perk read you have to use perk read because you need six perks and like I said this is all based around engineer and then perk three spy crap and so what this does this allows you to see where enemies place their field mics their gas mics their proximity mines all this stuff and you can go you can hack it and you can make it your own and that is the most fun thing in the world you don't trigger proximity mines you don't trigger gas mines those are all spy crap you can see here hack enemy field upgrades immune to counter spy plane jammer field mic tracker and paranoia won't trigger prox mines or gas mines booby trap enemy care packages so essentially the enemy anything the enemy uses that's not a score streak can be yours you just have to get to it and that's not too hard um we're gonna go through and we're actually gonna talk about what i use through all the perks really quick here like i said engineer this also allows you to reroll your care packages so you do want to use the care package score streak super easy to get hopefully your teammates are dicks and don't take it from you but as long as you can get your hands on it you basically get two chances and a really good care package and more likely than not you get a really good care package we're gonna go through all my score streaks later so stick around for that anyways engineer flak jacket the reason i use flak jacket is because i don't want to get just one shotted by a grenade or some molotov fire i really like flak jacket and the reason i play it also is like what i said earlier you don't trigger gas mines so as long as you're in front of your your team you're blasting through these enemies going b lining to right where you need to go you're gonna be fine you're not gonna trigger anything in fact everything that you would go and trigger you can just make your own so when the enemy pushes back boom gas procs this that it's awesome you're basically a walking bomb um so i play flag jacket just because that helps with the grenades and the fire and i don't really need it an optional second thing you could use is forward intel if you do want a bigger map i wouldn't recommend it but i have used it before and it is playable in this class and it still is really fun it allows you to be a little more strategic some people might like it so i just wanted to throw that in the ringer um tag mask again you can use it not really recommend it since you have fly uh spycraft uh, but it's there if you're just getting a bunch of dumb teammates with a bunch of gas mines throughout um the map under perk 2 these are the most lenient i just run these because they fit me the best they don't really do anything for this class so really quick i run assassin because it helps me get my my care package faster um and then i run scavenger because i will run out of animo just running through and gunning um i play running gun that's mostly how i play i don't like camping so i'm running out of ammo left and right so i need to keep re replenishing as i keep running through all the dead bodies of my enemies um gearhead works too um tracker if you play a melee heavy if you're using the machete more than your gun i would swap out either a, uh probably scavenger because you're not using your gun um for a tracker but again that is a very melee heavy um perk but again tweet to your liking tracker is definitely an option in, in, in replace for scavenger however you want to run it then again the last perk i actually don't really run gung-ho um it does keep you alive better but ninja allows you to actually sneak in more sneak in behind people who are maybe camping or in nuketown like on the top of the roofs sneak behind them take their equipment and just knock them out really quick and then get back into the battlefield 
Um, Ninja just allows you, you know how it works. You just don't make noise, really. It's great. Um, and like I said, you have to run Spycraft. That is literally the backbone of this entire video. So please run Spycraft. It's super fun. Um, aside from that, the everyone you run Stimshot, I like Stimtex over C4. Um, it just runs a little better for how I play. Um, gas mine totally works. I feel like I get the most kills out of my gas mine. Um, another you could use is always field mics, always top tier. Uh, proximity mine's like an A tier. You could, I always think that's really good. Um, I don't see Ryan anything else, so I have nothing to say on those. <laughs> and really quick to close up, we're gonna go through my score streaks. Might be a little controversial. I know a lot of people like to run the harp. Uh, the war machine and then uh, the what is it the vest combo I don't really do that um, like I, I run I run the sentry tournament like I said I run nuketown so there's a lot of good places on nuketown you can kind of just put it and be a total asshole about it a lot of fun uh, you have to run the care package really to make engineer 100% worth it I think it's great you'll always get something really most of the time I can't say always most of the time you're gonna get something real real good and then the last thing I like to run is artillery. I just find that it allows me to pinpoint enemies if I'm playing, let's say, like domination, and I know enemies gonna go push B. I can just bomb B, bomb a little behind B. I can save one. It allows me to just kind of play. Um, if I wasn't running that, I would again run the war machine or the attack helicopter. Very, very possible to get to those if you really want to. Uh, but that's that's really it. If you do try this out, please let me know what you think. Um, it would be great to get some feedback. Maybe people have other ideas on the class or anything else like that But with that being said, I appreciate you giving me your time. Thank you so much for checking me out I've been Ray Mix 3 and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace